Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2017 Sector 2 guys. Okay, so the given question is consider the following table T1 and T2. Okay, in T1, P is the primary key and Q is the foreign key. Okay, so here they are saying P is the primary key and they are saying Q is the foreign key referring to R. So indirectly this is a foreign key and indirectly R is a nothing but primary key right. So if something is a foreign key in other table so it should be primary key right yes. Okay in table 2 with the on delete cascade. Okay, so let us recall the term guys. What is on delete cascade? So whenever you are deleting something, so if I delete something in this table, so this value which is paired with this value, that value will also delete. So that is on delete cascade, right? Yes. And option, uh, and next thing is, uh, it follows and delete cascade and on update cascade. Okay. So what is on the on update cascade guys? So if there is any update done here, so that update will be taking place in the other table also, right? Yes. So now let us go through the second part. So this is all about a table one guys. So now moving on to table two. So in table two, R is a primary key and S is a foreign key for P. Okay. So this is really good. So these tables are playing a pair pair, right? Yes. So this is a foreign key based on this primary key. Okay. Okay. Yes. And referring to P in the table T1 with the on delete set null. Okay. So what is on delete set null guys? So if you are going to delete something, you are going to set it to null. So assume that we deleted 3, 8. Okay. So whoever are mapping to this 3. So this column will be set to null guys. Got it? There is no deletion going on. Only null you will set that set. And on delete on update cascade. Okay. So in order to delete 3 comma 8 from table. Okay, so he is trying to delete 3 comma 8. Okay, he did not say in which table he want to delete. Okay, so, okay, so here, okay, so I took that example only. Okay, so here 3 comma 8 is there and here 3 comma 8 is not there. So there is no confusion. Comma, number of additional records that needed to be deleted from T1. Okay, so now the question is if I delete this particular row from here, how many rows will be deleted from a T1, right? Yes. So if you recall the relationship with respect to this is on delete set null. The relation in between these two is on delete cascade, right? Yes. So once I delete this particular row, okay. So once I deleted it, the game will start, right? Yes. So this is on delete set null. So wherever this value is a three, so this value is a three in the yes row, yes column, I will write a null there. So here I will write a null, that's it, right? Yes. So now this will be the updated table, right? Okay. So that's it. Okay. So how many rows did delete guys? There is nothing deletion, right? So zero rows have been deleted. Okay. Yes. So I think this question is from confusion guys, right? Yes. So students who are not having clarity on on delete cascade and on delete uh, set null, they will directly delete this row which in turn forces us to delete this row, this row and again it will continue in that way, right? Yes. But here it is on delete set null. So just you will set null, that's it. Got it? Yes. So now you understood, right? So what is the difference between on the delete set null and all those things? Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.